Labour activist Ash Sarkar pointed out last night's MRP, Major YouGov poll, result does not take into account the ground campaign from left-wing grassroots movement Momentum. A seat-by-seat -seat poll from YouGov indicated Boris Johnson's Tories are on course to end up with 359 seats after the general election, securing a hefty majority of 68, with Labour slumping to 211, losing 68 seats in the process. But left-wing activist Ash Sarkar said the poll does not pick up the Labour ground campaign that the Tories cannot replicate. BBC Newsnight presenter Emily Maitlis asked, We always talk about looking for the noise in an election campaign, and it still seems to be coming from the Labour rallies at the moment. But is there a sense that we're ignoring what's happening there or is it already counted in as a strong momentum vote Ms Sarkar replied. So, momentum have really refined their ground game in this election. They've got 1,400 volunteers who are taking an average of two weeks off work for two weeks of the campaign, and they will be looking for a very efficient get-out-the-vote operation. They've also been running voter registrations, so Momentum alone registered 108,000 voters with 459,000 young voters registering just yesterday. Highly unlikely they're going to be Tory voters, and polls don't pick that up. So what I'm saying is that yes. This poll is showing you that if the electorate looked exactly like the MRP sample and the ballot was held literally today, that's what the result would probably look like. But without looking at the ground campaign, which the Tories cannot replicate, we're not going to have an idea of what that final picture on the day is going to be like. If the poll result is accurate, it would be Labour's second, worst since World War II, only eclipsed by the 1983 disaster which saw them pick up 209 with Margaret Thatcher's Tories winning 397. The BBC, citing insiders, suggested Labour was poised to reshape its election strategy, having overestimated the threat posed by the Liberal Democrats, and underestimated the willingness of Leave, backing Labour voters to switch the Conservatives. The party is understood to be changing tack in its campaign, particularly in Leave voting areas, where it is in danger of losing seats to the Conservatives. Labour insiders say a key mistake up until now was overestimating the electoral threat from the Liberal Democrats, and underestimating the likelihood of Leave voters switching from Labour to the Conservatives, the BBC has reported. Labour's strategy so far had been, in part, to emphasise that the election is about more than Brexit and to get voters to focus on issues which would unite Labour voters in Leave and Remain areas. The new plan is designed to appeal to those who voted for Brexit, and to try to convince them that Labour is not attempting to stop Brexit by offering another referendum. Quizzed by the BBC's Naga Munshati about the poll, Labour's shadow International Trade Secretary Barry Gardiner admitted his party had work to do, adding, I want to be ahead in the polls. I want our message to be getting through. You can be absolutely sure that for every day every hour from now until the 12th of December Labour candidates will be out there getting our message across. We need to get this message across, Professor Tony Travers, of LSE London, said, clearly Labour fears losing Leave voters in the Midlands and the North. The polls appear almost stuck. This move suggests the party fears losing unless it strengthens its pro-Brexit credentials.